So we have this division, or we started this division, T Street and MRC, where we call it the emerging filmmakers, but it's not really, it's not about emerging, it's just finding young talent that we really believe in and are excited and are hopefully looking for people that are singular and have uh, stories they want to tell that we got excited about. S so we're looking for those two things. We're looking for that, and we're looking for people that we really like as human beings. Mm -hmm. If we're going to spend time working and spending a lot of time in those movies are don't cost a lot of money, and there's no real... You don't really get paid making those movies. you basically making the movies because you really believe in the people and you believe in what they want to tell. So we found both of them, and we got really excited about them and said, let's support... Let's help them make the movie uh, and see what happened. And uh, can report the experience of being phenomenal in both cases. I would say in both movies, yeah. it, you realize that those movies, it's like you're taking a swing. Those are not, those are not cookie cutter movies. Those are movies that if are well made and well told, will make noise. And we'll get people to talk about it and we'll get people to maybe argue or debate. And you really, it's like a swing. And, uh, and you have no idea when you do those if, you know, if it will turn out good and if it will work out. But luckily for all of us, I think we are very proud of both movies. And I think they turn out really good. And, you know, that's it. That's really what you're looking for. It didn't remind me anything. It just, like... It was such a well-written script. And then when you get to talk to Chloe, you realize she had a clear vision. And she directed TV before, she never directed a movie, but you realize, okay, this this person, she knows her shit. She, I, I'm confident that she will make a really good movie. I have no idea if people are gonna respond to the movie, but I know she will make something special. And, you know, as, as you know, once we start screening the movie in post production, you realize. I remember seeing the first cut. I said, "Well, my, it was tense." I was like, "Okay, this movie, people are going to be talking about that movie." And uh, yeah, if, if you're asking me about Sundance experiences, yeah, I had, I had those a few before in the past. But you know, we've sold movies before. But that was just, I think, one of the reasons is we came to Sundance kind of under the radar. And people didn't talk about the movie. I don't want people, like, I think producers or filmmakers always, I think, make the mistake of overhyping their movies. I always believe you should, you know, underplay, go under the radar. If you have the goods, screen the movie, make sure the right people are there. And if the movie works, it plays in an or then it will develop in an organic way to something that more people want to see and maybe they want to buy it but that's always my take here's the thing it's not about the money i know people think about the money oh it's a great deal the reason i think we went with netflix as opposed to eight or nine other bidders is you realize that those people in that company who were going to work on the movie really believed in the movie and they were gonna you felt you're gonna get so much love and support in launching the movie and launching Chloe's career more than and they had the means to do it to support it that I think other companies did not have or were not willing to so of course money is nice and great but that's not the decision uh, that's not what you know, it's got it's got weight, but it's not the reason why we went with Netflix. You know, Ryan took a lot of time off. He had two years where he was very busy between this, between knives, between Glass Onion and Poker Face. So he needed to go and clear his head. Went to Europe for four or five months. But it will be when the strike's over, we're gonna go start working on it. How quickly? It's just gonna have a script and it's gonna. Be and we're gonna go prep and shoot. I don't know, but the goal would be to shoot it next year, but I'm not sure when and how. But yeah, that would be the next thing on the horizon with the next season of Poker Face, yeah. 
of course producers need guild, but it's I don't see it happening, right? Yeah. Like who is going to vouch for producers because the reality here there's plenty of producers here on movies here that I guarantee you <coughs> made those movies and did not get paid making those movies. I guarantee you 50% of the producers in the festival that are credited producers did not get paid one dollar on their movies and probably not going to. So, but I don't see that changing. It's, it's yeah, it would be amazing if we did, but I don't see it. But they absolutely did. I would definitely feel that producers are undervalued. Uh, and yeah, there's nobody to, there's nobody there to, uh, to fight for them. But it's kind of w when I mentioned to you what we're doing with filmmakers, supporting young filmmakers, we also have been doing the same thing with younger producers. You know, on both of those movies, for example, we have, you know, we have younger producers that we have been developing and they, they get to produce their first movies and their second movies and, you know, hopefully they will develop relationship, they develop the relationship with those filmmakers and hopefully they will continue with them and they they are getting paid on our movies right but uh, that's because you know we pay them the movies themselves don't pay them we end up paying them so uh, so that's it <laughs>